What's up guys, NFJJ back at it with another video. I hope you do enjoy, and if you do, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, almost 90% of the people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you like NASCAR videos and enjoy my content, consider subscribing because it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Danica Patrick into the wall, spinning back down into traffic. White flag is white out. Now. This is the last lap of the race. Her children's racing comes to a close at Phoenix. He slides to the finish line while they crash behind him. Keslowski threads the needle as cars crash to the checkered flag. I don't understand why they didn't throw the caution there. The kid car was losing a lot of fluid. Harvick just power sliding through there. A lot of cars. Oh, man. Hmm. Kurt Busch hit a ton. Well, Ryan Newman took a couple of hard hits. That's a hard way to get a top five finish. That's what Newman did. Check, you have a car in the wall on the inside lane. Inside lane, coming to the checker here. Frank, come on through here. Come on through here. Just get through here. Just get through here. There you go. Well, I want to say it's P5. Big, big wreck behind you now. Big pile up back straight away. Oh, my gosh. Looks like 10 cars in it. There's Tony Stewart. On Montoya, the 42. There's so much carnage, I can't tell who all is in it. Both the BK cars. There's Landon Castle. There's Scott you just Speed. Saw Travis Quapple. Scott Speed, the 79. Smoke but car. Tony Stewart. Here's where it starts. Remember Jeff said these banks are self-cleaning. Everything slides to the bottom. But somebody turned Michael McDowell, and there's another pile of cars in it. We talked about it before the race. Things just happen so fast here at this one-mile race. Trying to slow down, but you can't stop a race car on a dime when you're going 150 miles an hour. Up to 79, Bam. Scott Speed, yellow number on the roof. He piles into Castle. And he gets tagged by Stephen Light and Joan Nemechek. By the way he drives. Oh, Schrader. Schrader ground on the back. Bobby Here's, Labonte. Gordon got a little bit of it. Got a... Blaney Mark, Mark, McMurray. Mark, 41 car. 97. Kurt got Bush. some damage. 40 car. A lot of our lead lap cars. Ricky Rudd's car is destroyed. The 19 or the 18 cars got quite a bit of damage. Mark Martin, the 6 Bobby. car. Four, came yeah. in here 5th in points. He's involved. Ooh. Couldn't tell. Did the 32 get in the back of him? I think so. That's what it looked like. Rusty sneaks through with minimal damage. So does Jeff Gordon. Michael Waltrip got hit. Kurt Busch has got damage, but not a lot, I don't think. Mike Wallace, number four, right at the end. Tipped into the wall. You can almost see the damage on the left front of the 32 car. That's pretty much, I think, the telltale sign. How many weeks in a row Bobby Labonte gets into a wreck not of his making? Here we are again. At Bristol. This car all night took the inside line on the restart. This is going to be down to the wire. Wally oh. touch. He spun out. Carl gets into Keslowski. Oh, Carl my Edwards gosh. will win. Oh, oh, man. You are the man. He deserves it. Good job. Oh. That is a bad boss. He's okay here. That was a hard hit, guys. That was ugly. Direct behind you. Just that slow was it down. Ugly. Slow it down. There's a big wreck here. I, it, it looks to me as though Carl thought that he was cleared and he was going to do a crossover and maybe misjudged that. Boom, right there. Is that, is that Bliss or Howard? It's Colin Brown gets hit also and spun around. 88 car Steve Arpin. You see Luffler in. Casey in the, in the five and Regan in the 78. They made slight contact, but when they bounced off the wall, this is how fast these guys are being told, slow down, slow down. But you can't, there's nothing you can do when there's a wreck in front of you. Marcus Ambrose, Kyle Busch, and the 29 of Kevin Harvick. Hard to tell from that angle whether Kane might have thought he had cleared Smith and moved up in front of him. I think he was hoping that he had cleared him. Shows you right there hey, how Darryl, quick everything there, happens. This, Darryl, there just isn't any way. They're up on that steering wheel trying to reel in Edwards. Whoa! Off the wall, the two-car burst. Bush and it, his teammate comes across. Oh, man, that was two for one. Both Penske cars taken out in that one. A Jimmy, melee. Jimmy Johnson also gets tagged. The reigning series champion. Jeff Green, the 66 cars in it. J.J. Yaley. 
Something broke on the car, man. It shot straight into the fence. That's Dover's version of the big one right there. Oh, look at Martin Truex. He had a great shot to have a good top five today. What happened here a moment ago? Now watch the two car left side of his screen up off the wall. He Looks had, like he... Yeah, he had a flat tire or something. He had something broke or a flat tire. Yeah, I couldn't tell if the tire was flat in or if he just got up so high out of the groove and the car wouldn't turn, he got up in it again. I mean, only Kurt would know. But, uh, boy, when he hit that wall, bounced across, it just really took out everybody. 66, Jeff Green, Casey Kane. There's the 18 car again uh, from high above. Watch the contact there. Newman goes up down and gets the inside wall. Kane has nowhere to go. Right in front of him is the two car. The five car, Kyle Busch bouncing off a couple. Looks like Tony Stewart just avoids these guys. I think he got a little bit of contact, maybe some damage. He's battling to try to stay in that position so he can get the next Aaron's Lucky Dog if we have one. Oh, trouble, and here comes an Aaron's Lucky Dog right now. Problems there, it looks as though three different trucks involved and more starting to pile up behind them. Completely blocked the racetrack. You see all these guys stopping. You see Colin Brown had a top 10 run going. There's Terry Cook, he's involved. You see a left front tire cut down on his Wilder.com Toyota. There's Jason White. There's it didn't look like Terry Cook had anywhere to go as, as as the 08 went up the track, Terry looked like he started to go to the outside, and that's where he just collected him there. Looks like the 16 of Brian Scott ran into the back of the 6 of Colin Brown. They call that the boxcar effect. Or the 60 of Terry reaction. Cook. Let's ride along with Ted Musgrave and see what he saw. Oh, okay, another, crash. Crash down here. another chain reaction crash. Casey Kane involved. The 11 car involved. Denny Hamlin. Casey Mears involved. Casey Kane. This is going to be a big wow. blow for him in points. Heavy contact. There's the seven of Robbie Gordon. Start finish line. Contact. There's Mears. Like Michael Walter was involved. Those seven of Clint Boyer also involved. Soren's unable to get stopped there somehow. Looks like this started. Right there. Yeah, that's going to. Oh, man. Oh. He was able to keep it off the wall. Border was. Man, look at all these other cars. And in terms of points, the two bubble drivers, Casey Kane, who. Oh, near contact again. Oh, trouble off a of four. Dale Earnhardt Jr. involved, couple of cars. Tony Stewart is there, the 17 is there. Bobby Labonte in the 71. There's Junior on the inside of Marcos Ambrose. You can see Junior down on the apron, loses the traction again, gets sideways. Ryan Newman gets pushed into him by Sam Hornish. They both make it through though. Then it just starts stacking up behind him. See Casey Mears just sliding his way through there. Top of the screen there, see the 88 car sideways. And they stack up right behind him. Yeah, we talk about him utilizing that apron. It's really difficult to do on a restart, though, where you have low air pressures. It just, again, de-wedges the... Big crash on the back stretch, Rick. Then and right up in front of more traffic. Three behind you in three. Ryan Newman's in it. David Reagan is in it. Well, Fire. And Chris Buescher was in it as well. Chris Buescher involved. Well, the 14 just kept coming down on the 31 on the back straight. Oh, it wasn't happy maybe with what went on in turn one and... Big impact by the 23, and you see right there, Chris Buescher kind of bounces between them. Yeah. Luckily gets through, but that was a really big impact for the team. Came down on the 31 and getting into turn one. So the 23 really into the back of the 31 hard. So unfortunate for David Reagan, but what this in essence does is it clinches the chase spot for Chris Buescher.